I should like to retire to a small hamlet for that order. Revelia. <laughs> On another adventure, are we? Alohomora. Rebellion. This is the first thing I did in the night. Italians and a historian's uniform. Revelia. I was trapped on the grand staircase for an hour here.
Revelia. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. It's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. <sighs> what in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh, tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. So 
those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. good egg when they see one, as do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. I knew it! 
I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Revelia. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard?
Revelia. My family has a lot of muggle traditions. Alohomora. Revelia. Rebellion. Lumos. else too. Revelia. A of powdered bat spleen, I think. How nice to see you, my young friend. You are incredible.
Revelio. Try right and take the grip. Our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the inventor. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well... I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... <sighs> Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Rebellion. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Pavelio. Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? Yeah. A human? 
someone else. Oh, little moon calf. Far from home, eh? You'd be better suited for gardening than for... Well, that's your best. Oh, you won't stop me. Pity. Not quite. Not quite. Vegetable! Kill spells glance off of them. Oh, that was... Yeah. Revelia. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. One in the Come here, corrupt mate. I know all of I shall get that goblin help back. Hopefully from your core. You're the little son that say Treadwell. Careful now. None of that Patrificus is not. Stop messing around like a penny I never do. No. No. Your poaching days are over. Incendio! Revelio. Yes. 
I know a Merlin trial when I see one. tree just as the map said the crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here Crumbling Tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Revelio. Incendio. What do you have in store for me this time? Must have been quite stately in its time. Huh. Incendio! Revelio! Rebellion. In 
incendio. Who lived here, I wonder? Here's a sad looking place. Oi, pass that pie with you. <laughs> I know I have something now. <laughs> Up for a minute dying, are we? <laughs> That's due to defeat us. What will we find in here? Revelio. 